Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are looking at the reactions of acids and bases, where we will focus on the types of reactions that acids undergo. Now, if you look at the acids, they have uh, different types of products depending on what they are reacting with. So, when an acid reacts with a metal, salt plus hydrogen is produced. When an acid reacts with a metal oxide, salt and water is produced. When an acid reacts with a metal hydroxide, salt and water is produced. Acids plus carbonate gives you salt, water and carbon dioxide. And when an acid reacts with ammonia, an ammonium salt is produced. Now these general rules are very important to remember when looking at reactions of acids and bases. Now, if we take some examples, we'll see here that here on the top right hand corner, I've written the same thing down where we must know the general rules when acid plus a metal react gives you salt plus water, uh, salt plus hydrogen, etc. And here we will look at uh, specific examples. We have HCl is an acid, HNO3 um, is an acid, H3PO4, H2SO4, and HCl. These are your acids. And if you look at the first acid, it's HCl, which is hydrochloric acid. When hydrochloric acid reacts with zinc, as an example of a metal, we get zinc chloride as your salt and hydrogen gas is produced. If you look at HNO3 as your acid, a nitric acid, and if we react it with um, sodium oxide, we get sodium nitrate as your salt. Now, if we just compare the first and the second reaction, we see that the first reaction, you just have a metal, and in the second uh, reaction, you have a metal oxide. So we have an oxygen that is extra. So because the extra oxygen is present in the second reaction, we see that it reacts with the hydrogen to form H2O, which we know as water. In the third reaction, we have phosphoric acid reacting with uh, potassium hydroxide to form potassium phosphate as your salt and H2O as your water that is produced. In the fourth case, we have sulfuric acid, H2SO4, plus uh, your carbonate. In this case, we are using copper carbonate as your, uh, as your carbonate that will form copper sulfate as your salt, water, and carbon dioxide. And an easy way to remember this is that carbonate has carbon, and carbon dioxide also has the carbon. So the carbonate is responsible for forming carbon dioxide as one of your products. And if you have HCl and you react it with uh, NH3, which is ammonia, then we, when this takes place in a gaseous phase, we see that ammonium chloride, which is a salt, is produced. So here we see that we have a specific example showing the general reactions that we have to learn very well, uh, as we mentioned earlier. When we, we must know whether a salt is formed with water or hydrogen or carbon dioxide, etc. Now, another thing that we can mention here is that in order to produce specific salts, we have to use the, uh, the appropriate acids. So if we want to produce a chloride salt, then we have to use uh, a, a, an acid that has a chloride. So the acid that we use is hydrochloric acid. So we use hydrochloric acid to form a chloride salt. If you want to have a nitrate salt, then we must use nitric acid to produce a nitrate salt. If we want to produce a, a phosphate as a product, then we need phosphoric acid, H3PO4, to form your phosphate salt. And if we want a sulfate salt, then we, the appropriate acid to use will be a hydrogen sulfate, which we know as sulfuric acid. So that is another important point that we must remember, that we have to use the uh, correct acid to produce the, the salt that we desire to make. So chlorides, uh, nitrates, phosphates, and sulfates must be made from hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, phosphoric acid, and sulfuric acid, respectively. And then we look at this last case, again, we have ammonium chloride that is formed. So if it's a chloride salt, that is, then, it is, then we need hydrochloric acid to produce it.